as if you need another reason to avoid the bathroom. It turns out bathroom hand dryers are blowing crap and bacteria onto people's hands. I guess constipated people won't give a crap, but if you're easily grossed out, I understand. However, it is proven that these bathroom hand dryers are a health risk. All tests came back positive for Baculus Subtilis PS533. Most of these hand dryers do not have HEPA filtration, and the ones that did were not totally effective. Hand dryers suck up all the particles in the bathroom and inside create colonies of many different bacteria. What really should be done is to have hand dryers access air from the outside of the bathroom. But then that would become an expensive endeavor that most landlords would not even consider. So stick with paper towels if you want to avoid getting crappy hands. It's actually safer to clean your hands in the toilet than it is to be using one of these fecal spreading hand dryers. A study by the scientists at the University of Connecticut found hand dryers in men's and women's bathrooms blew bacteria onto hands, including fecal matter. The study published in the Applied and Environmental Microbiology Journal stated scientists came to the conclusion after they placed data gathering plates under hand dryers at 36 bathrooms at the University of Connecticut's campus. The researchers said they placed plates under the dryers for about 30 seconds and found between 18 to 60 different colonies of bacteria on each plate. These results indicate that many kinds of bacteria, including potential pathogens and spores, can be deposited on hands exposed to bathroom hand dryers and that spores could be dispersed throughout buildings and deposited on hands by hand dryers, the study said. The scientists wrote, it was not immediately clear what organisms are dispersed by hand dryers and if hand dryers provide a reservoir of bacteria or simply blow large amounts of bacteria contaminated air and whether bacteria spores are deposited on surfaces by hand dryers. The study said it was possible hand dryers are responsible for spreading pathogenic bacteria including bacterial spores through an entire building as well. Researchers also noted the Baculus subtilis was discovered in every bathroom they tested. One organization did a real life study on the number of bacteria in a public bathroom. They swabbed the bathroom. After a full day's use, they found the toilet, although it had plenty of germs present, was not the dirtiest thing in the bathroom. Swabs from the sink revealed 50,000 bacteria on and around the sink. Here's some advice. Do not touch the door. Walk in with a paper towel. Touch as little as possible, including the bathroom door handle. Up to 90% of people don't even wash their hands. That means you could pick up traces of the norovirus, fecal, hepatitis A, before even getting into the bathroom. Do not touch any part of the sink or faucet with your bare hands. Avoid hand dryers. Grab some paper towels before you go into the bathroom. And if you're really smart, go in with some disposable gloves. I was going to tell you some poop jokes, but it's really crappy. You never really appreciate what you've got until it's gone. Like toilet paper and paper towels is a great example. in an extremely uncomfortable conversation at a party with a very opinionated acquaintance.